Hello and welcome. We're working today on accounting information system, which is chapter three in intermediate accounting. So this is the terms. Now you need to work pr plenty of problems and we'll talk about that here in just a little bit. My name is Jeff Mankin and I help you finally learn financial literacy. Now what is the accounting information system? The accounting information system is the system that records transactions and then summarizes the financial information in the form of financial statements. Now remember, accounting is the language of business, so there's terms that you need to know to understand how to do accounting. All right, first of all, you need to remember how to do debits and credits. Remember, debit is just on the left and credit is on the right. It doesn't mean good or bad or plus or minus in general, for a specific account it will but debits and credits debits on the left and credits on the right I'm, I'm using a little device where I'm using red for the left and and green for the right so you can always kind of think about left and right debit and credit all right our balance sheet accounts are assets liabilities and equity so assets we start with assets first assets take a debit to increase and a credit then decreases. Now because we have the accounting equation, remember this is the accounting equation, assets have to equal liabilities plus equity, then liabilities and equity are going to be mirror images of the assets. So liabilities and equity will take credits to increase and debits will decrease liabilities and equity. Let's look at the income statement and dividends. Revenues and expenses are opposite sides. Revenues increase with a credit and decrease with a debit. Expenses increase with a debit and decrease with credits. And dividends, we're going to add dividends to our, our five accounts and dividends take debits to increase and credits to decrease. Now, revenues are revenue accounts, obviously expenses or expense accounts. What type of account are dividends? Dividends are a contra equity which reduces the equity account so it's a opposite of the normal balance of equity. So it takes debits to increase. Now here's how to remember it. Use the acronym DEALER. D-E-A-L-E-R. DEALER so the first three accounts, the DEA, the dividends, the expenses, and the assets, all take debits to increase. The credits decrease. The normal balance is all debit. So if you say cash, which is an asset, has a balance of $300, well, you know that's a debit because it has a debit normal balance and it takes a debit to increase that account. The three accounts LER are liabilities, equity, and revenue. These all take credits to increase. Debits would decrease those accounts, and that means the normal balance is credit. So I put the red and green to try to help you remember that. You're going to have to memorize a sum system, and so I recommend using the dealer way to remember. That way you have all the accounts, the five basic, account, basic accounts plus dividends. The next thing, let's talk about the accounting cycle and everything we're going to do. One of the things that makes intermediate accounting difficult is you're expected to do a lot of things in a chapter like chapter three. And so in chapter three, we talk about the account accounting cycle. Now, you typically don't have to memorize this, but this is the order in which things happen. And this is for your understanding. So the first thing that happens is transactions happen and we need to capture those transactions in a journal. The journal is called the book of original entry. It could be a computerized system. It could be a paper system. But the journal is where the transactions are. You can see a transaction. You can see what happened in that one transaction. Number two is post to the ledger. The ledger is a listing of all the accounts with their balances. So we're going to post those transactions, those numbers to the ledger, and that way we update on a continual basis 
the balance of a certain account, like what is the balance of inventory account, or the balance of cash account, the balance of our accounts payable account. Then at the end of the period, we're going to do an unadjusted trial balance. This is our trial balance to make sure the debits and credits equal. We list every account, put their debit balance or their credit balance, and we figure out if that balances, then we feel confident we have not made an error. We've, we've not um, made any obvious errors that we can find. Then we're going to make adjusting entries. Remember, adjusting entries are entries we must make because over time things change. We have to get things to the correct balance. So we're going to make adjusting entries. So things like we might have prepaid rent for three months and then we use up that prepaid rent. So that's going to be rent expense and prepaid rent. That's the adjusting entry. Number five, we're going to do an adjusted trial balance. The adjusted trial balance is a trial balance that is after the adjusting entries have been made. Number six, we're going to prepare the financial statements. We need to prepare a income statement, a balance sheet, a cash flow statement, and a statement of stockholders equity. So we're going to prepare all the financial statements. Then at the end of the period, we're going to make closing entries. We're going to close revenues. We're going to close expenses. We're going to close dividends. We close it using an uh, account called income summary, and those accounts are called nominal or temporary accounts. We're going to start over again, moving from 2019, revenue from 2019. We're going to close that, make it zero, and then start with revenue for 2020. So closing entries are an important step. It gets rid of all the revenues and expenses. Then, this is optional step. We can do a post-closing trial balance to make sure everything is still in balance. We would only have assets, liabilities, and equity at that point. We would not have any revenues or expenses. Now, step number nine is completely optional, and I typically never show it, never uh, do this, and so it's reversing entries. You can do some reversing entries if you want to, uh, but it's completely optional. All right, let's talk about the accounting system here. What do we do you need to know in the accounting system? What are the problems? Well, things like journal entries, adjusting entries, getting the account balance, doing a trial balance, and doing financial statements. So if you're focusing on Chapter 3, then make sure you can do these types of problems. So this is the accounting system problems, the very basic. This is something you, you have covered in accounting principles class or financial accounting class. The challenge, in, the challenge is it took several chapters to do that in financial accounting. And this is all included as kind of a review in intermediate accounting. Now, make sure you work plenty of problems. So you need to do plenty of journal entries, plenty of adjusting entries, and make sure you can do financial statements. That's important. All right, we're to the end of our accounting information systems, just the terms in Intermediate Accounting Chapter 3. I'll have a video where we work problems. I'll switch over to Excel and we'll work some problems. So thanks for watching.